It is so early. <laughs> a channel about sketch design wait a channel about design sketch tips and tricks and overall how to elevate your design career my name is Alberto Rossini and if you haven't done so already please consider subscribing as it truly helps out a lot about a year ago a material theme editor for sketch was released and I created a video that has gotten over the last year or so a lot of traction actually is the one video in my channel uh, that has gotten the most amount of views and you know it was uh, my first impressions video I never really took a deep dive into how to set it up how to get started how to change the fonts how to use any of the components within it I wanted to take the opportunity today just because I have a little bit of time before the sun is completely beaming off of my face and I have you know regular lighting inside of this room to actually jump in and show you guys how to set up your project for the first time how to you know modify those components and how to put that that file that you create in a shared space so that you can use it as a library together with your team or if you're working with other designers if you're working with anyone else that is using sketch they can use the same components as you and all of these are shared components meaning that they have overrides already enabled and they're super simple to use essentially you don't have to create every single component and their overrides from scratch the beauty about material theme editor is that with just a few clicks you have a file set up you have a library there and everybody's using it in your team let's dive right in and find out how you can start using material theme editor to kind of speed up your process with your team all right, so uh, before I create a new document, I'm actually gonna go up here to plugins and I'm gonna go to material and open theme editor. This is gonna bring up this new window. So let me actually get this one out of the way so that we can only focus on this one. The first thing that you see is actually very simple. You have four different base themes that you can start with. You know, there is a couple of differences between these in style and the colors but you can change you can truly just change all of that once you get started so I'm gonna use fortnightly uh, just for the sake of this example but feel free to select anything else once I click start with fortnightly theme it is telling me to save it in a shared location so I'm gonna move it at some point I'm gonna move it into that shared location for now I'm just gonna put it in my desktop so that I can see it and I'm gonna name it some, something else. So let's call this 90 degrees. Now it opened the file itself, which you can see here uh, within Sketch, but I have this other window on top of it. There's a few different elements that you can change. So for example, I can change the main color of my, of my document. So let's say that I want to create some sort of, you know, sort of like deep purple, um, experience I can do that I can do the regular text color but I can also click on this plus sign if I want to create a specific you know sort of like color option here I can do that and it what what's lovely about this is that it's also telling me about accessibility in terms of double a compliance I can see that this color font will pass at least double a and also triple a compliance so I'm going to stick with that. So the secondary color, I want to choose something that is more on the sort of like magenta side of things. So I'm going to go ahead and do that also. Again, I'm, I'm only doing this for the sake of this example and not necessarily making meaningful changes. But you can see already by looking at the document behind this that some of the colors that I've selected here have instantly taken effect in the document itself. You can clearly see it here in the uh, color palette and see the different shades of the, the colors that I have selected. Next, I'm gonna move over to the font family. So this comes already with a bunch of different, in terms of typography, it comes with a bunch of different fonts already set. I'm actually gonna change this to something that is more of my liking. So I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna search for Proxima Nova and I'm gonna add that font family 
and you can see again instantly i mean this this thing is just so powerful instantly everything sort of changed in the background now i can go the through the headlines one through six and i can change that to be to be whatever font i want and I can also do, let's say that I want this to be extra bold instead of black, I can do that. And again, it instantly changes not only the look, but also the description in the background. I can also set things like, I want my corners to be, to be rounded. So let's say that I want those to be eight pixel corners. It's right now set to cut. I don't like the cut look, so I'm gonna move it over to round it and you can see the effect take place inside of this window, but also as we dig deeper into the file. You can choose an icon set which will have you download the icons and sort of uh, install it in a specific location. So I'm happy with that. I'm actually gonna come in here to the file itself. <music> The good news is that not only are all of these preset for you, they're part of a connected library. And the cool thing about the way this file is uh, set up by default is that you can see basically a cover that this will be your library cover. You can change this for something else. And when you look at the libraries inside of Sketch uh, and go over to libraries, Basically, the cover is what you're gonna see represented here. So, for example, you can see that 90 degrees is already installed, and that's what I have there. But if I wanted to get rid of this altogether, oops, I didn't mean to do that. I just wanted to get rid of the internal stuff, and I wanna change the background color to, you know, whatever, and type something on top of it. When I save that, that's basically gonna become my my library color uh, or library cover. Uh, apologies. So it takes a little bit to to update, but you, as you can see, you know that's my new cover right there. And you can use that simply to share share the styles within your team. But also the way we use it in my team, as you can see here is that we keep our versioning number for that specific library within the cover and that really helps other designers in the team identify that they're up to date it helps us troubleshoot if there's any discrepancies etc the second thing you have is the instructions and this is invaluable really uh, you can read through a lot of this it's very very well documented there's more even more information online but it tells you how to update your library when uh, when changes are made etc you also have your components themselves so you basically have this is a ui kit of absolutely everything that is available within your library it's all represented here i mean this is just nuts that they were able to fit it all within a single plugin uh, that set up sets up this file for you imagine how long it would take you to create every single one of those components i mean this should save you a lot of time so how do you use this basically we don't want to use this file because this is the library file of shared components what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to close out of it and i'm going to create a new file and i can start a blank file like this i'm going to insert an artboard i should probably use an android device for this so let's say that I want to do the Galaxy S8. That's the one that I have with me at the moment. Now, when I go up to symbols, you can see that 90 degrees is right here. And I can start pulling in elements like the bottom app bar with the centered fab button. I can just click on that and insert it. The cool thing about this is not only, you know, sized appropriately, but I can also resize some of this stuff and it's already responding, so everything sort of like stays in place. I can add textiles from 90 degrees, so everything that I selected before, it's available for me to add. So let's say 90 degrees. That's a bit intense of a font size. I'm not really sure why it's that big. So let's say that I select something else like an H4 primary left. I can change that, and as you can see, I'm able to select all of that simply because it's a shared library. So that's pretty neat. That's it for getting started with Material Theme Editor. Please let me know if this 
stuff is useful to you and if you've learned something today, if you're interested in designing with material design and using these libraries, using these components and even designing for Android using Sketch, I'm going to be creating a whole slew of videos specifically about the subject. So please go ahead and subscribe and I'll catch you next week.